Okay, talk to you then. Bye, bye. Oh wait, Will. He said he hurt his back. I was gonna ask him how he was feeling. <laughs> okay. Mm. Meeting time. Brian? Oh, back Wi Fi. A F C. Yeah, that's fine now. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I just texted Selena. I was like, delay the meeting 10 minutes because my Wi Fi wasn't working. And Emma's here. And so is YouTube. Oh, ah! hello. <laughs> I just want to know everything that happened Friday. Girl, you like kicked it in the gear. I was just telling Dustin. I was like, oh yeah, we're all like ready. ready. Like so many things are happening. Well, um, I love this moment so much. The gratitude plus quality, passion, or aliveness moment. <sighs> um, can I go? Yeah. I watched that movie Dunkirk this weekend. Has anybody seen it? I just saw that. Oh, it, it was, was so, so good. It, it was felt, crazy. It felt like you were on a roller coaster. It felt like you were moving in your seat. It, like the cinematography and the audio was so good. So I am grateful for my life <laughs> and the time that we live in. I've been thinking about um, how cool it is living in Los Angeles. Hmm. I like, just hit my four year mark like a week ago. LA felt like home for the first time, which is so weird. Mom, anything for you? You know, I'm just, as I, I listen to you all, I'm just very grateful for this group. I love the positivity and the fact that you are all so reflective. Since Amanda was so courageous in addressing the critical voice to the outside world, I thought in a, you know, a moment to address it inwardly for us. It's such a powerful opportunity for you to be in the public eye the way that you do in a service consciousness. So I wanted to bring that forward so that we could all kind of um, be in that with you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot, thank you. Hi, Lulu. Hi. Miss you. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how slow you, like just like little things like here. Yeah. So like there's a Saturday one, it's like this. Yeah, that's so good. I love this little edit. It's so good. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today, Emma's with me and we're just gonna film like a regular day in the life. Probably all the stuff that I would never pick up the camera to vlog myself. So we're just gonna be going through the whole day. It'll probably be a full day of eating as well. You guys just saw my morning meeting that I do every Monday with my team. It's really fun. We get a lot of stuff done. We talked about FOCA and then I re-announced Influencer Academy. Some of you might have uh, applied to that. I didn't announce it on here yet, but it opened on Monday, the applications. So relaunching that, exciting. <laughs> and now eating some breakfast. So it's a high carb day for me, starting off with two packets of oatmeal, and then I'm gonna do some protein and blueberries and peanut butter, and that's like the best breakfast. It's my friend Mike, he's going on the podcast tomorrow. I was like, can you send me some beautiful photos of yourself? He shot with Mike, Ma, Mike, Mark Singerman, and he shot in his like doctor jacket on the beach. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. How long do you think you'll be at the gym? Till like 12.30 or so. I've been trying to like wear my headphones so it's less, I don't have to hear myself breathing. <laughs> really? If I'm like does he, struggling. Direct, does he direct you through? He directs me 13? through the whole thing. Really? Yeah, every rep. Every single rep. It's like on me, on like my form and stuff. Wow. Like That's he a good is not part. like chill. He is like doing half of it with me. I either have to like do two loads of laundry or just run it through the dryer twice because it's not dry. Try it again. The only like outfit that I like wearing at the gym is these um, Lulu aligns. I have them in a bunch of colors, but I save money on my tank tops. This tank top was $3.50, <laughs> I think from like a really random thrift store. So I usually get my tanks and sports bras from like Forever 21 or something like super cheap, somewhere random that's just like the cheapest thing ever. And then I invest in the leggings because those are important, so. 
So we'll do these three for pre-workout. This is a pump. This is energy, happy pill. I need a little bit of a boost before Tito. And then this is just my multivitamin that I take daily. So we're gonna bike to the gym. And this is my favorite part of the day because on the bike ride, it's a 25 minute bike ride. I can listen to a podcast. And on the way back, I can either listen to a new one or continue it and finish it. So I'll show you guys like my podcast list. They're literally all entrepreneurial <laughs> podcasts and business podcasts. Um, ooh, Lewis did an interview with Gary. That's cool. We'll listen to that one for sure. Gary and Lewis. Um, Gold Digger podcast, navigating through the tough seasons of an entrepreneur. This JLD interviews entrepreneurs on fire. He does a podcast every single day, every day, every day. And then that's like a really great one that I love listening to. It's always like really high quality, really great guests, really great information. Um, Lewis's obviously he has Chris and Heidi Powell on today. That's cool. Obviously Tim Ferriss. Um, there's Gary again and the entrepreneur on fire again, <laughs> like all the same ones. And then some different ones The can I pick your brain is really good. I also listen to, there's a couple other ones that I'm subscribed to ever forward radio. Um, me, <laughs> and these are a couple other ones that I'm subscribed to and I'll listen to every once in a while. This guy's really good, Ben Greenfield, if you're interested in like anything health related. He's got like hundreds of things about like gut health and um, something about erectile dysfunction there. <laughs> and yeah, a ton of different stuff. So those are my favorite podcasts. We made it to the gym. These are the only kind of bike locks you can have because otherwise people will just take them from you, so. Directly over your shoulders. Quick. Down at one, down at two, down at three. Right here. Right here. Let's get a quick turn. Let's open up. Three. Remember the first one. Please make sure you have a sinker because she's coming. Pause there. Okay. Let's do the whole body. Okay, look up. High core. Step back into a puppy push. Push One, two, on the leg up. All right, repeat the whole process. Left hand down, right hand up. Breathe from the whole foot cage. Yep, lock in here. Good job. Look at that. Nice. Open. Face the sky. Face the sky. Let the sun hit your face. Right there. there. You go. <laughs> uh, two, jump up to the Wide. Five in a row. Let's go with a little jump here. One. Jump up, two, quick feet, three, quick feet, back and forth, four, back, four, five, stop, stand up, touch your knees, look up, land on the ground, up quick, land on the ground, up quick, up quick, up quick, up quick, flex hold, two, Quick, quick, quick. Nice. Excellent. Jump up, jump back. Quick, back. Jump up, jump back. Quick. Five, four, yes. Three, yes. Two. Hold the push-up. Five seconds. Not your knees. Hold them up to the Simon says. You know what Simon says? Wait, hold on. Lock the boots. Lock the boots. One more rotation. One here. Lower. Yeah, yeah, right there. Hold. And drive. That's your, your your frequency. I don't want your frequency to be super hot, super fast. Like it doesn't have to be, right? What I do want is I want it to be efficient. 
And I want you to feel like when you're in this position, it's a leg press. Leg press, right? Right? Leg press. There. Yeah. Let me come back to it. Okay? So what I'm looking for, I'm going to show you in units. is done. I'm getting better and better at these Tito workouts. Like I feel like they're less hard because my body's getting more conditioned to them, which is awesome. Exactly what I want. Um, it's time for pre post work, pre workout, post workout meal and have some asparagus, potato and chicken. And I'm going to make some vegan meal for Emma, beans and rice. And Brian's cooking all the chicken and I'm making the rest of it. And yeah, these cool packages from Thrive Market, I don't know if this is a thing normally, but these are all just like pre ready to go beans in like a bag. Is that a, it's not a thing, is it? I've never seen that before. It's just usually just beans in a can. Yeah. And this is like beans in a bag and they're just ready to go. You don't I think all you have to can do is, opener. Uh-huh, it's awesome. I think all you have to do is open them up. 
I mean, microwave them. Purple! Get a look all nice and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 200 grams of potato, asparagus, and four ounces of chicken. And then I'm gonna top it with this. <laughs> the things you don't normally get on camera. My name is Carrie. For those of you who do not know me, I am the community manager here for Influencer Academy. A group and just this make sure is good. Me. This is um, good. Good job, Care. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to come up. So, yeah, so that video, <laughs> stop, is of my assistant Carrie, and she just came into like a new role in the Influencer Academy program. So she's like managing all of the students and like making sure everyone has all the support that they need. And we're gonna be doing some like fun little cute Pinteresty type <laughs> like encouragement um, stuff with her. She's gonna be doing a lot of that. She does a lot of stuff for like behind the scenes. She helps me build out the live event. She does a lot of stuff. So she rocks, I'm excited. And then I have to get on the phone with Dustin quick cause Dustin is, you guys saw my team meeting this morning. Dustin is my, oh my God, I look so fun. <laughs> Dustin is my um, email list marketing guy and he does a lot of like behind the scenes stuff but he's so great to work with so he teaches me how to like create tags and email list stuff and like guide me along the way with that so I have to talk to him. So I'm writing a check for, I'm not sure if I talked to you guys about FOCA updates, um, but I did tell my podcast about the accreditation process that it has to go through and I just have to write a check for the company that we're working with that's going to help us get the program accredited and having them create test questions and create the like interactive slides for everything will be a uh, allowing us to be on our way to get accredited. It's a process, it's like a year long process or something like that, so this is the beginning. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna read, um, if you guys follow Justin Mahaley on Twitter or Instagram, he's one of the coaches that I wanted to go through FOCA and like provide as a testimonial if he felt it was good enough to provide a testimonial. And he said, I've been a personal trainer and online trainer for just over four years now, and though expanding my business and trying to learn the ins and outs, I can confidently say that I've looked over nearly everything available to fitness professionals that is supposed to expand their knowledge or promote growth in their business. With 100% certainty, not a single one of them was as in-depth, as accurate, nor as user-friendly as the Fitness Online Coaching Academy. <sighs> It was constructed with only things we fitness professionals need to know in order to help our clients, maintain our clients, and grow our clientele. This is the schooling and education needed to become successful in the fitness industry. It's refreshing to see a program put together with the goal of making the fitness industry better and more educated place as the purpose behind it. I can say with zero hesita hesitation, if you apply yourself and soak up every ounce of knowledge you can from this FOCA, then you will become a more educated trainer and have a more efficient business. Excellent work to the entire team behind FOCA and thank you, Amanda, for being a positive, well-constructed voice in the industry. This truly separated you as a role model. Go cry. That was really nice. And it was completely honest. I didn't ask him for like a positive review, just like a review. And if he felt it was good enough, I would post it on the website and stuff. But damn, he's like such a strong voice in the industry and even though he doesn't have like a massive following or anything he's just someone that i really look up to and admire so thank you justin you rock All right the big girl check <laughs> <laughs> the showcase for the betterment of the company and the students i'm gonna get these tailored i love them they're purple purple's my favorite color you didn't know Something that I struggled with so, so much when I first got started was only being accountable to myself. And recently my schedule has like changed a lot because I now have employees and they have their own office hours. And then like there's certain things that like happen on certain days now, like Mondays we always have meetings and Fridays Carrie always does calls with my team. And then Sundays I always do group coaching calls. And then like I always train with Tito on Mondays and Fridays. Like there's certain things that like always happen now 
Whereas before, when I was accountable to nobody except for myself, it was just like a free for all. Like, yeah, I'm free on this day and whenever and whenever. So the biggest like piece of advice, that's like the hardest thing, honestly, is to go from either like a regular job or being in school where everything is really regimented and you know exactly when you have class and things are due to going from like, you can finish this whenever you uh, have to happen to have time because it's all on you. Um, the biggest thing is to maybe create a schedule for yourself. Like my schedule is kind of open, but it kind of works around my employees now and like the things that I do, but it's the most helpful thing. So even if you're scheduling out yourself six hours in the day, whether it's like three hours in the morning and three hours at night, and you give yourself like whatever time you are able to like get to the gym or whatever. Um, but just scheduling out your time helps so much because you get more done. And like for me, I don't get as much done if I have all day as opposed to like forcing myself to be really, really efficient in like six to eight hours or so, as opposed to like, I have all day to do this stuff. So yeah, that's another really big tip. So we're headed to the bank now. I have to transfer some money into different accounts and then errands and then back to work, back to work. It's 4.30 and I haven't worked much today, except for in the morning. <laughs> so here is my, my Monday schedule is like morning and then closer to the night. There's real, oh, sorry, I just saw really cute dogs. <gasps> Just a really cute dog. No, they had I didn't little. See it. They had little bows. Oh my god. So I need the cart, the account that it's going to now. It's gonna be another business account. Thank you. So this place is on Washington Boulevard. It is called Hair in Shape Threading Studio. And it's $6 to get your eyebrows threaded and they do a really good job. So if you live in the area, check them out. I like love, I love them. They do a good job. Yeah, a bunch of these. I've got like a bowl and I Yum. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm making my second cup of coffee for the day. It's really loud back there. Um, I'm gonna put a half a scoop of the Cafe Select in it, and it's like chocolate and it's delicious. So I'm gonna put half a scoop in it. It has 100 milligrams of caffeine. And a lot of people ask me like why their protein clumps up if they put it in their coffee. And it has to be a certain temperature. I think it's 180, 80 degrees? 180, 190, something Regardless, like that. you might not be able to tell how much, how hot your coffee or your drink is or your water is. If you're using just water, I like to mix it in my coffee, um, but you can just make it with just water. But if you're using like a kettle or something, you can make it the right temperature. But either way, um, if it's not, if it's too hot, it'll denature the protein. So it'll clump, if that makes sense. So I, my, I don't know if mine's hot or not. I could probably wait. I kind of don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> if it's clumpy or not, it still tastes good, and I just like don't really care. I don't know. But if I wanted to care, I would wait like 10 minutes or put an ice cube. Okay, I'll put an ice cube in it. Let's see. That makes a difference. I would put an ice cube in it or something to cool down the temperature of the water so the protein doesn't like denature. But and my Bucci Radio mug, too. <laughs> Like we're good. good. Yeah. yeah. No clumps. Ice cube help. It's now nine and I'm gonna eat my last meal in a second, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I did a podcast. There's a um, podcast called Beauty in the Vlog. So they usually, her name is Erica. She has this podcast that they she interviews YouTubers. I think they're mostly beauty YouTubers, but either way, it's all about like interviews on YouTubers and how they grew and stuff. So she sent me these like cute little graphics to post and stuff if I want to. 
Like how cute is that? Beauty in the vlog influencer growth strategy. So that's what this podcast is about. So I did an interview with her. Look how cute. I'll link the podcast in the description box. So go check it out and let's eat the last meal of the day. Do cereal and a banana and it's gonna call it a night. Cereal and a banana. Almost 100 grams of banana. And yes, it is completely okay to have carbs after dark. It's not gonna hurt you. You're not gonna store more fat. Biggest, most important thing is calories at the end of the day for fat loss, for body composition change, and you can eat them any time of the day. You might be heavier on the scale the next morning if you don't normally eat late at night and you might be like, oh my God, those carbs made me gain weight, but it's not true. I'd hope that most of you who watch my channel know that by now, but if you're new and it's the first video you've ever seen, I hope the thing that you take out of it is that carbs after dark are not bad for you. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm just going to be sitting at my computer for the rest of the night. And that's like a full day in my life. Thank you to Emma for hanging out with me all day and just filming me doing my thing all day. Lots of sitting, lots of working, working out, the whole shebang, eating, just living a normal life. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. The next video is gonna be really fun. Really fun. I might be eating vegan for a whole day. <laughs> Maybe not though. <laughs> catch you guys in the next one. Yes. <laughs> My videographer's right, vegan. Bye. <laughs>